Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a spread for your KDP Children's book in Canva. I'm in Canva right now, and the first thing I need to do is create a design, but I need to know what size it's going to be. So I'm going to go to the Amazon help page, set trim size, bleed, and margins, and I'm just going to scroll down to where it says examples of page size with and without bleed, and I'll click on that. And if you watched the video right before this one where we did a single page in Canva, it's almost the same, but the difference is we're just going to duplicate the page width to get a new width. For example, if I want to do a book that's 8.25 by 8.25 inches, I'm going to find the page size with bleed on the right. So it's going to be 8.375 wide by 8.5 high. The one difference is that I'm just going to multiply this by 2 because it's essentially going to be two pages, one right next to another. So the width is going to be the width of two pages, not one. So we're just going to take this number, 8.375, and multiply by 2. And the result is 16.75. So this is going to be the width of our spread. And then the height is going to be the same as the height of a page, which is 8.5. Now we can go back to Canva, and we'll create a new design. And I'm going to do custom size. And then for the width, I'm going to do 16.75, the width that we just calculated. And then the height is going to be eight and a half. Oh yeah, make sure you change this to inches though. <laughs> and now we're going to create a new design. This is going to be the size of our spread. First, let's add our guides. So I'm gonna go to File, View Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. Just like we learned in our last video, we're gonna do our eighth of an inch guides for our trim size, and then quarter inch guides for the safe zone. This is a half inch, so we're gonna go back and go to a quarter of an inch, and that's our safe zone. And then half of that is going to be our trim size. So the slice here all the way on the left is gonna get trimmed, and then you're gonna want all of your artwork to be inside the innermost line, and that way it'll be safe from getting trimmed off. So I'll just go, there's half, and I'll go a quarter, and then an eighth. Now we just want a guide that goes down the middle. So if you pull a guide over towards the middle and then you'll see it'll snap right at the middle. And now we know this is the left page and the right page. As you can see, the pages are gonna get trimmed off around the outside, but the inside edge is not gonna get trimmed. So when we break this up into two separate pages to go into our PDF, the edge that's gonna be the right edge on this page right here, is just gonna go right to the edge, it's not gonna get trimmed. And then this one, it's gonna go right to the edge and it's not gonna get trimmed. I hope that makes sense, but hopefully it'll make more sense as we go along. Now I'm just going to drop in my artwork. I'm gonna go to File, Import Files. I'm gonna click on that and here's my art. I already had it the right size, but if you didn't have it exactly the right size, you could always make it bigger, make it smaller. You can do all kinds of layout, add stuff, whatever. Just get everything how you like it. And then after that, you can add in the text. The text we did in the last episode, so I'm not gonna go through it in super detail. I'll just add it here quickly. And if you wanna see in more detail how to do it, then go to the first video of this series. Now we're going to export this whole design. So we're gonna to go to share and download. Unfortunately, the JPEG download doesn't let you go above 80 for the quality, which is nuts. So I'll just use PNG, then I will download. Now I'm gonna go back to home and this is where all of my designs are. And again, if you didn't watch the first video, then you'll definitely wanna watch that because we have our file that we started with all of our pages. So this is all the pages in my book. I could add more, of course, I only went up to six. We can go here and look at our layout. And remember, the first page is gonna be all by itself. 
So one and two aren't going to be next to each other. Two and three are going to be next to each other. This page is going to be to the right of the spine. We have four, and then as I finish the book, I would put something on page five because these would be next to each other. So we have page six here, and I'm going to add another page, which will be seven. So we're going to be doing six and seven for the spread. So I'm going to go back to designing now. I'm going to start on page six, which is going to have the left side of the spread. So I'm going to go file, import files, and I'm going to find that file that I just exported, which is right here and I'm gonna open. We're gonna drop that in, and then remember, we made it the exact perfect size. So what we're gonna do is make this the height of the artboard here, and that's gonna be the exact perfect size. So if we put this here, then it's gonna get cut right here, and then we're gonna go down to the next page, which is gonna be on the right side, and we're gonna drop it in again or you can copy paste, whichever you prefer. And you just gotta make sure the height is exactly the height of the page. And it'll snap to the height, so you should be able to get it exactly. And then this one we're gonna put right at the edge. So you wanna make sure the edge of the image goes right along the edge, and then in the one above it, the edge goes right along the edge here. So it's gonna go right up against the edge of the artboard. Now, if we go over to our grid view, then we can see these two next to each other and then you see how they perfectly align. Now, if we go back to our design, one other thing I just wanna mention is, yes, we do have our guides here for the bleed, but they really don't count for the inside edge on any of the pages. So even for like this one, lately mouse has been feeling down these guides on the right don't really matter. It's not gonna get trimmed on the right because this is where the spine is gonna be. But I just had us make those guides on every page just to make it easier on you. But just so you know, yeah, like this isn't gonna get trimmed off. Along that same lines, this side isn't gonna get trimmed off because this is the left page and this isn't gonna get trimmed off because this is the right page. So they're going to match up perfectly. And then whenever we're completely done with everything, or if you just wanna test it along the way, we can do share, download, pick PDF. You probably heard this in the last video, but you do need the paid version for CMYK. So for now, just do RGB. And then once you get your printed copy in the mail, if you think that it doesn't look good, then switch to CMYK but just don't worry about it for now. We're gonna do flatten. I just like to do that because it's less error prone. And also if someone were to get a hold of your PDF, they can't pick it apart and like grab out just your art and use it. So now we're gonna do download. And then that's gonna be your PDF that you can upload to Amazon KDP. That's all for this video, and I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, you can let me know in the comments. Or you can also email me at heather at heathercash.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.